What the hell happened? Well, they're fucked. North. You alright? What happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Damn. Who did? Who? It's time to face the music. Come on, Marcus. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Will he make an example? What will he do? You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. Bears them, not violent. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. And because of that, the androids will always be destined to lose. Because the humans will just slaughter them wa wantedly, not care. It's hilarious because the humans are the ones who should have the morality and they movies. don't. Just in, at exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found ah. in the neighborhoods of cyber life stores and they're still investigating. Oh, Police oh. were found in a state of shock near one of the cyber life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Dun dun dun. Well, I made a lot of interesting choices, man. Send a message. I seriously made a ton of interesting choices. Let's see here. So right from the get-go, right, there was a cho an optional choice here I didn't do. I don't know what it was. I found the truck. I guess there was a thing if you never found the truck, right? Deactivate the alarm, which I did do. If you didn't deactivate the alarm, maybe it would have fucked stuff up. I don't know. Police not alerted. But they were alerted. That's bullshit. Police car arrives. I don't know. There's a few things I didn't do. Then inside the store. And then you choose what you do, right? You choose if you're violent or non-violent. And that, that's the kind of protest you did. I sent a strong message. I guess being weak doesn't matter. If I had done a weak message, it would have sucked, Right? So there's both pacifist or pacifist or not pacifist message. Also, the police patroller as you could spare or not spare them. So the choices are peaceful or violent, I guess. Protest. All right. All right, back to these guys. I haven't seen them in a bit. What the hell? Connor's alive. Look, Cyberdyne fixed him. Yup. Cyberdyne fixed him after he saved Hank. <laughs> Did I say Cyberdyne? I did, didn't I? Cyberdyne, like fucking uh, uh, the Terminator. That's Cyberdyne. Jesus what is it? Cyber Labs Christ. or whatever. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. Oh guys, a new Cyber one. Life transferred Cyber its Life and sent me to replace it. You uh, died in my arms, and now you're back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you. <laughs> Wow. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. 
We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Damn, interesting. It's Cyber Life. I call it Cyberdyne. It's hilarious. Terminator reference. It's the same shit. Oh no, Cyberdyne's Robocop, right? Yeah. Cyberdyne, Skynet, they're all, they're all the same shit. Oh, look who it is. The girl from the, from the, the survey, right? Uh, uh, I'm uh, from the intro. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Please come in. Would you like to take a survey? Okay. Now OCP is a Robocop. Then what's Cyberdyne? Cyberdyne is... I thought Cyberdyne was a uh, Terminator. I thought it is. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Oh, there you go. Cyberdyne is Terminator 2. I was right. Is that him? Wow, what a smug asshole. What a picture to have in your own house. A picture of yourself looking like a smug asshole. There he is, Elijah Kamsky. Cyberlife founder. Resigned in 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponent technology. So he invented all that shit that nice made it girl. possible. Huh. An RT-600. The first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. <laughs> What's up, Devin Erasmus? Good to see ya. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. <laughs> That's it? Uh... Uh... Um... I guess he's here? Elijah, we'll see you now. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, Cam Kamsky. What the hell is this? Mr. A red, Kamsky? A red pool? Just a moment, please. I've never seen a pool that's red on the inside before. How weird. He's actually swimming in pure green liquor. It's not water. He's making the world's biggest... Uh, the world's biggest mix of jungle juice. Ah, 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 ah. Pretty soon they're gonna put in the fruit and the fruit punch mix. He's gonna stir it all up. Of slave bots. Why would they be talking to each other? What the hell? And why can't we hear their voices? Oh my god, douchey hair. The ultimate I'm douchebag Lieutenant hairdo. Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Yeah. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? 
all ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? <clears throat> Whose side are you on? Uh... I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. <laughs> but you... What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? Uh oh. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. Hmm. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. What's he gonna do? Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Oh, here we go. The <laughs> Wow. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? <laughs> oh, <Sorry> shit. <you laughs> are. <laughs> this is great. This is great. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. I'm gonna shoot him. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm gonna shoot! No, I'm not gonna shoot. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. A deviant! I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. Oh, shit. You saw a living being in this android. Oh, shit. You showed empathy. You're a deviant. A dirty deviant. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was a cool segment. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. RA9 is the, the maybe the description of the emergency exit that the, the androids shoot? find to have freedom. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. The... That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Emotion. Tons of emotion. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Hank liked that. Maybe the reason Hank hates androids is because the android just strictly obeyed its programming and he got his son killed. Maybe that's what's really going on with Hank. 
Interesting. Kinship. All right. Look at this. Now keep him up. Look, it could have went. Wow. It would have went totally in another direction. See that? So because Connor died, he had to wait for Hank. If Connor hadn't died, he probably would have come in with Hank in the car and maybe had a different a different discussion with him. Yeah, see that? There's different things you could have done when you wait for Kamski. I only did two of them. Yeah, so if he had shot the android, a whole new branch would have opened up. I'm very curious to see what that would have been. Uh, thank you to High Tech Specs for just choosing awesome the idea of the empathy test. Is the same as in Blade Runner, which is how androids are detected. Interesting. All right, very nice. 